This TV mass is brought to you live by Philippine Long Distance Telephone, SME Nation. Success through technology with PLDT, SME Nation. We have come because we believe God is a faithful God and He's a God who loves us as His special people. May mga pusong nagpapasalamat. Let's begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the Lord who hears the cry of the poor. May His peace and His grace be always with you. And with your spirit. Ang Panginoon tawag sa bawat Kristiyano ay ilaw asin. A Christian comes to this world and makes a difference in the lives of others. A Christian lives a life that truly matters. Sa mga pagkakataon ng ating buhay ay hindi naging biyaya para sa iba. We ask the Lord's forgiveness. Sabay-sabay po, I confess to Almighty God, And to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May mga pusong nagpupuri, together with the whole church, we proclaim, Papuri sa Diyos sa kaitaasan. Please. 
at tayo po'y manalangin. O God, who manifests your almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. The prophet Amos strongly denounces the wanton revelers who think only of their enjoyment and are not affected by the suffering of their countrymen and the threat of invaders. God's judgment will soon fall on them. Our first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Thus says the Lord God of hosts, Woe to the complacent in Zion, lying upon beds of ivory, stretched comfortably on their couches. They eat lambs taken from the flock and calves from the stall, improvising to the music of the harp. Like David, they devise their own accompaniment. They drink wine from bowls and anoint themselves with the best oils. Yet they are not ill by the collapse of Joseph. Therefore, now they shall be the first to go into exile, and their wanton revelry shall be done away with. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise 
The Apostle Paul encourages Timothy to continue living the values of a man of faith. This kind of life brings glory to God and is a powerful testimony to unbelievers. The second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. But you, man of God, pursue righteousness, devotion, faith, love, patience, and gentleness. Compete well for the faith. Lay hold of eternal life to which you were called when you made the noble confession in the presence of many witnesses. I charge you before God, who gives life to all things, and before Christ Jesus, who gave testimony under Pontius Pilate for the noble confession, to keep the commandment without stain or reproach until the appearance of our Lord Jesus Christ and the blessed and only ruler will make manifest at the proper time the King of kings and Lord of lords, who alone has immortality, who dwells in unapproachable light, and whom no human being has seen or can see. To him be honor and eternal power. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand to give glory and honor to the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, There was a rich man who dressed in purple garments and fine linen and dined sumptuously each day. And lying at his door was a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, who would gladly have eaten his fill of the scraps that fell from the rich man's table. Dogs even used to come and lick his sores. When the poor man died, he was carried away by angels to the bosom of Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried, and from the nether world where he was in torment, he raised his eyes and saw Abraham far off and Lazarus at his side. And he cried out, Father Abraham, have pity on me. Send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am suffering torment in these flames. Abraham replied, My child, remember that you received what was good during your lifetime, while Lazarus likewise received what was bad. But now he is comforted here, whereas you are tormented. Moreover, between us and you, a great chasm is established to prevent anyone from crossing who might wish to go from our side to yours or from your side to ours. He said, Then I beg you, Father, send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, so that he may warn them lest they to come to this place of torment. But Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. He said, Oh no, Father Abraham, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. Then Abraham said, If they will not listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded if someone should rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 
They tell of a story of a man dying and then finally arriving at the gates of heaven and standing before God to be judged whether he was worthy of life eternal or eternal condemnation. Tinignan ng Panginoon sa aklat ng mga buhay whether the man's name was in there. And nakita niyang wala. And so he tells the man, kayo po'y pupunta sa impyerno. And the man protested, sandali, sandali. What did I do? I did nothing. Tinignan siya ni Lord at ang sagot, Precisely. You did nothing, kaya pupunta ka sa impyerno. My dear friends, brothers and sisters, nagugulat tayo kung bakit etong mamang to sa ating gospel reading of today, the rich man, is being sent to hell and he'll have to be tortured for all eternity. Magtatanong kayo, bakit ba? Yung yaman ba niya? nakuha niya sa pag-iinvento ng mga NGOs na fictitious. Hmm. Yan ba'y kinuha niya mula sa PIDAF o kaya sa Nampalay... Ato ba yun? Nampalataya? Mampalataya na... O, oh, yun na yun. Oo, oh, oh, yun na yun. Okay. <clears throat> eh, yun ba'y kinuha niya roon at gumawa siya ng kung ano-anong kabalastugan? Nagnakaw ba siya? Did he sell shabu? Did he rob banks? Hindi. E, eto ba, <clears throat> matatanong namin natin, did he steal from the poor? Is he in fact responsible kung bakit etong mamang nasa harapan ng kanyang pintuan ay poor at miserable ang buhay ni Lazarus? Ang sagot, no. Minsan ba nagpalimu sa kanya si Lazarus and refused to give him? Hindi rin. Pinadala ba niya ang kanyang mga aso upang itaboy si Lazarus at pinapick up na lang doon sa security sapagat hindi magandang tignan na yung napakaganda niyang palasyo ay may nakaupong poor doon sa harapan? If I could even ask, did he commit any crime? Did he do any evil? Ang sagot lahat, hindi. And why is the Lord punishing him to eternal life or to, to a life of torment in hell? Bakit nga ba? Eh, ang ginawa lang naman niya, nag-fiesta siya. Nagkumain siya ng masarap. Bumili siya ng napakagagandang mga Hermes bag at kung ano-ano. Napnaligo lang naman siya sa sinasabing uh, punong, uh, bathtub na puno ng gatas. Masama ba yun? Ang ginawa lang naman niya, nagpa-party siya, nagpa-fashion show. Anong masama roon? Here, we have to go back to the basic concept of ano ba ang kasalanan. At kinahina inumpisa natin sa ating misa sa paghingi ng kapatawaran from the Lord for the sins that we have done. Pero apat pala ang klase ng pagkakasala. For I have sinned in my Actions in my speech, in what I have done, abami pang apat, and in what I have failed to do. Ano yun? Hindi ka pala pwedeng humarap sa kanya na apibibida mo lamang, Lord, wala akong ginawang masama. Because as a Christian, you are expected na hindi lamang gumawa, hindi gumawa ng masama, kundi na gumawa Nang mabuti. The man's reason for being sent to hell is that sa buhay niya, wala siyang ginawang mabuti. Kahapon ng umaga, I was waken up by a sad telephone call to inform me about somebody whom I have gotten to know in the past years. One day, nagulat to ako rito na may dumating na isang pamilya. And the guy would introduce himself to me as General Bing Damian. Kasama niya ang kanyang asawa, kasama ang ilang anak. Father, kami po'y nanonood sa inyo sa television. And during the time he was assigned as PNP General, doon po sa Tugigaraw. Tuwang-tuwa naman ako siyempre and I entertained them. And later, they would come and introduce a son. 
father, yung dalawa ko pong anak, ay katulad ko'y nag-aaral din sa PMA, Philippine Military Academy. And father, ito po ang isa sa aking mga anak. And I was introduced to this very young guy, Francis, during that time. Iba dating ni Francis, guwapo, matipuno ang katawan, at may sense of, mo well, yung masabi mong, in control ako, secure ako sa sarili ko. That sense of, wala akong problema, kaya ko ang mundo. Anyway, naging close lalo ko sa pamilya when they invited me for the celebration of their wedding anniversary. And during the time, every now and then, pupunta sila rito sa ating TV Mass. And even if, sometimes hindi makakarating ang mga magulang, Francis, who would graduate as second lieutenant, would pass by and it was always beautiful to see him. Father, magpapapray over lang po ako. Kasi Father, maa-assign po ako sa Mindanao. Katulad ng kanyang tatay, si Francis did not like to be content with an ordinary assignment. He always wanted to be where the action is. Paliwala niya, I have to do something. Bakit pa ako naging sundalo if I will not be where the action is? Matagal ko nang hindi sila nakita, lalo na si Francis. Kasi nadinig ko nga, always nasa Mindanao. Hindi ko po alam that recently, for the past couple of years, ay si Francis po pala'y pumunta rito sa Fort Magsaysay and wanting to go up higher, took up studies for being an airborne. Siya po'y isang scout ranger. And then, last Thursday of last week, natapos po ang kanyang studies. And immediately, he wanted action. So ang ginawa po niya, naghanap po ng pamamaraan na muli pagkatapos at kagraduate, sa kabila ng pwede pa siyang mag-break ng 10 days, he said, I'd like to help. I'd like to go to Zamboanga. I'd like to be there. Gusto ko nang tumulong para matapos ang problema. Of course, the father had to advise him, Anak, take a break. You deserve it. Karapatan mo yan. Ten days is good for you. Dad, I would like to go. Alam mo mga kapatid, he heard kasi that a one platoon lost its leader and he wanted to volunteer. Sa kabila ng pwede siyang umatras, sa kabila ng pwede siyang munang manatili, he said, I would like to go. Nagdadasal lang tatay na sana hindi makasakay sa eroplano sapagat limited ang flights papuntang Pampanga. Gumawa ng paraan. Nakakuha ng slot sa isang military plane and decided to go. Ang tatay na mismo ang nagatid sa kanya. And during the time, the father in him was telling him, pigilan mo, wag mong papuntahin. But the soldier in him, the father being a general said, your son is answering to a call of duty. Let him go. Inantay pa niya hanggang makapasok sa loob ng eroplano bago siya umalis. He was looking at his son at that time and realized Francis was not content of just being a spectator. He wanted to be a player. His life has to do something good. His was one who said, Sundalo ko. Ako'y magtatanggol. Ako'y maglalaban para sa aking bayan. I have to do something good. Tay, I have to go. Patapos na to. Ito'y wala na, ano na, uh, clearing na, clearing na to. And I'd like to be there para makatulong na talaga ito'y mabilis ang matapos. He reached Zamboanga, passed by to see her, his daughter and the wife, also a first lieutenant, classmate niya. Three days later, nandun siya kasama ang kanyang troops and being on the front mismo, you know, sumilip lang siya. And pak, a sniper, hits him on the forehead. Na, punta pa sa ospital. Two days later, first lieutenant Francis Damian Chico was declared dead. 
nang inuwi ang kanyang katawan. And when the family was informed, sabi nung kanyang wife, sabi niya, Father, I saw my husband cry for the first time in my life. Ako naman, Father, siyempre nagwala ako. <laughs> but you know, Father, when they told me that we could see privately and view the body of my son, sabi ng mother, Father, grabe yung takot ko. Kakayaan ko bang tignan yung wasak na mukha? Kakayaanin ko bang tignan ang lahat ng ito? Father, I was told my son was a hero. But my first reaction was to say, I would rather have a son who is not a hero, but a son who is alive with me. Yan ang puso ng isang ina. Buhay man lang sana, Father. But when they went, at tignignan nila, and he saw him, and she saw him, at peace, completely at peace. Umiyak siya, but at that moment he said, Father, I could let go of my son. Kahapon, I went to see Chico. Of course, may mga military honors, binisita siya ng presidente. But as I saw him, good-looking, you know, inside this coffin, I had to ask myself, my gosh, this guy is 28 and dead. And yet, in the end, his life, short as it may be, was a life of one who decided that my life will not end without me wanting to do good for the people and for the country I promised to serve. 28. And he has done so much in so short para sa kanyang kababayan. Ako bukas 58. Magtatanong ako sa sarili ko, may nagawa na ba ako mabuti? Remember this. It was Mac Arthur who once said, Kung ikaw ay wala pa nagawang kabutihan para sa sangkatauhan, if you haven't as yet done any good for humanity, wala ka pang karapatang mamatay. You have no right to die as yet. Because a Christian's life only gets to be full when that life touches the life of another, when that life is shared for the good of others. My dear friends, brothers and sisters, today, you know, malulungkot tayo sa mga naririnig natin na yung iba, hindi lamang na hindi gumagawa ng mabuti. Yun pa ang mga nananakit. Kaya pag naririnig natin yung tungkol sa korupsyon na nangyayari, yung mga senador at kongresman na ating inasahan, Sometimes I would like to agree with one madre, madre, ang nagsuggest dito, Father, feeling ko dapat itong gawin eh. Kung ang mga MNLF ay may mga human shield na mga hostages, dapat ang mga sundalo natin, dalhin ang mga congressman at senador na kurap, ayun ang gawing human shield. <laughs> Parang gusto ko lang sabihin, sister, correct. <laughs> my dear friends, brothers and sisters, Today, Jesus is telling us, the life of a Christian in this world only becomes truly fully lived when that life is lived for others. First Lieutenant Francis Damien has gone ahead of us, but his life is, one, is the life of one who has lived that others, who has died that others may live. Alam nyo, I was coming over to go to Camp Aguinaldo and I saw itong billboard ni yung mga, mga ilaw-ilaw, yung lead. Ang ganda-ganda ng statement from Mahatma Gandhi at ito pong sinabi, Live simply that others may live. Ang ganda nun. Sa buhay na simple, dahil mayroon kang na-extra at nabibigay sa iba. Nagagawa mo ng paraan na sila mabuhay din ng may konting dignidad. Today, we pray that our lives be not just simply lives of spectators and of audiences, but that be lives of Christians who are on the go. Christians who would like to do something for humanity. Christians who like, first, you learn Francis Chico Damian, lived that others may live. Amen.
tayo po ay magsitayo. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Jesus seeks the commitment of His disciples. In order to follow Him and commit ourselves to Him, we need strength and perseverance. Thus, with confidence, we pray, Lord, bless Your people. Lord, bless Your people. continue to preach the good news of Christ and proclaim with all courage the beatitude of the poor and the woes of the rich and the satisfied, we pray. Lord, Lord bless, bless your, your people. people. May the Lazaruses among us, the needy, the downtrodden, the sick, the lonely, the jobless, may find comfort in the Lord and open the hearts and hands of generous persons, we pray. Lord, bless, bless your people. people. May the divisus among us, the rich, realize that there is more to life than the accumulation and enjoyment of riches, and that it is by giving and sharing that they store inexhaustible treasures in heaven, we pray. Lord, bless your people. May all seafarers and their families remain strong and faithful in times of temptation, loneliness, and personal anxiety. May prayer and Christian love be the unbreakable bond that unites them in spirit and affection, we pray. Lord, Lord bless, bless your people. May the Lord bless and prosper the ministry of priests, religious, and lay people of the Apostleship of the Sea, who dedicate their services to seafarers in ports throughout the world, we pray. Lord, bless your people. On the occasion of his 58th birthday, may the Lord continue to bless our dear father, Mario Sobrewanite, in a most special and generous way, for being a loving minister to all those entrusted to his care. May this day of joy strengthen him in holiness and fill his heart with gladness and thanksgiving. We pray, Lord, Lord bless, bless your people. May our departed ones, especially seafarers who lost their lives through accidents and sickness, receive the price of a good life in the company of Abraham, the angels, and the saints in heaven. We pray, Lord, bless your people. We pray for the repose of the soul of First Lieutenant Francis Damian at ang lahat pong kasamahan niyang mga nasawi doon po sa labanan sa Zamboanga. We pray for the repose of the soul of Lorenz and Nictao David, the birthday intentions of Apple Horda, Hans C., Rosel Velasquez, Joy Nipomoseno, the thanksgiving intentions of Luz Clemente, and the healing of Norman Alasco Ganancial. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless your people. Oh, this Father we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. the gifts are being presented.
understand. Pray to me, dear friends, that your sacrifice in mind be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the one spring of all blessing may be laid open before us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of Jesus Christ, our Lord. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Louise Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may have merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Sa pamamakita ni Kristo, kasama niya sa Kanya, ang lahat ng parangal at papuri ay sa iyo, Diyos amang magkapangyarihan kasama ng Espiritu Santo. Magpasa walang hanggang We pray to God, O Father, not just for a long life, but for a life lived well, a life shared as a blessing to others. We pray the Our Father. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. We'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Bless the person beside you with the gift of Christ's peace. Peace be with you.
This is Jesus who offered his life that so we may live the lives of the children of God. Happy are we who come to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. By the blood and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us to receive him. Amen. For those who are unable to receive Holy Communion, but are with us in this TV Mass, please join us in the prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot, at this moment, receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. This coming Wednesday is the first Wednesday for the month of October. Ang aming po paanyaya sa mga gusto pong sumama sa amin sa aming prayer meeting and a healing mass at exactly 7 o'clock this coming Wednesday po dito sa chapel na ito para sa Acts Prayer Group. Tayo po'y magsitayo. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ, to choose suffering we, in whose suffering we are united, so that we too may proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I stood before the coffin of First Lieutenant Chico. 
I call him Chico Damian. And I look at him so young in death, but so much in peace, because in that short life, he had lived wishing only to do good for others. It's as Jesus now to give us a heart that seeks not just to be a spectator, an audience, a fence sitter, but one who says, my life will be a life of blessing for others. Let's say, Jesus. And as you close your heart, your eyes, open wide your hearts. Lord, help us to be molded in you who offered your life that so we may find salvation. Give us, Lord, not just a long life, but a life where we become your blessings for others. Sing it once again, Jesus. Today we ask you, bless the people of the Philippines. Bless our leaders that they may seek to do good and not to hurt and to harm. That they may desire to serve in everything that so they may be worthy of life eternal. As you whisper His name, call unto Him, who is the God who says, Lord, come, stay in my heart, be present in my community, be truly with us in our families. But we may always seek you the good, the lasting treasure, the God who promised us life eternal with you in heaven. Today, Lord, we bless our seafarers, those watching us on television, those who have been hurt by the Zamwanga attack. Bless the Lord that like Lazarus, we may be declaring you, God, Eliezer, is our help. That you are our refuge, our consolation, our strength. Jesus, merciful Lord, in you we trust. Have mercy on your people. We have prayed in your Son's name, believing that even as we prayed in His, you will grant us our desires for your greater glory and for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with yours. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace and love of the Lord. Thanks. Brothers and sisters, at this time, we wish to express our love and gratitude to the spiritual director of our Acts Catholic Prayer Community, Reverend Father Mario Sobrewanite, who is celebrating his 58th birthday tomorrow, September 30. May we request the offerers of our uh, special token of appreciation, a birthday cake, courtesy of our Acts Catholic Prayer Community and the SM Mega Mall Chapel Mass Goers, to please present the birthday cake to Father Mario. Thanks be to God who 